you hear that, Buster? Today's video is all about you. High five. Buster was born in December 2004 on a little farm in a place called Analong, which wasn't too far away from my house. My mum had a friend whose Labrador had a bunch of puppies and obviously they couldn't keep them all and we'd always wanted a dog. And I was 10 years old at the time. This is not an actual photo from the farm, but it pretty much looked like this. Buster lived there for the first three months of his life. And then in February of 2005, we took him home for the very first time. Look at how tiny and cute he was. He was so adorable. So Buster lived in our garage for a while and that was where he slept at night. But whenever he got a bit bigger, that just was not good at all. So we got him this shed. It kind of looked like this. Again, I don't have a photo. And yeah, he used to like lying on the top of it and sunbathing. And now he has this big, massive shed, like his own house with a dog flap. He is so spoiled and he keeps all of his toys in there. The main thing you need to know about Buster is that he is super affectionate. And if he's not looking for a belly rub, he's looking for a kiss. He loves constantly being the center of attention and yeah, you better pay attention to him or else he's gonna bark at you. <laughs> when no one's home, Buster constantly sits by the window and waits for the rest of the family to come home because he just loves when the house is full with everybody there. Buster wanted to show you his teddy bear. <laughs> What's that, Buster? Ah, that's cute. Close the door. Let me out, let me out. <laughs> Another thing Buster loves to do is go for day trips with the family. He loves going for long walks in different locations and just exploring and yeah, generally being his nosy self. He's also a really big fan of water, especially in the summer and whenever he sees it, he can't help but just jump in and start swimming. Buster is very lucky, but sadly this is not the case for all dogs. So many dogs are put down every single year, as more than 50,000 dogs are abandoned per year in the UK alone. As you can see by my video, dogs have thoughts and feelings, and they enjoy life just as much as a human can enjoy life. They are not toys and they are not accessories, and you cannot abandon your dog. They become a part of your family, and they rely on you for everything, and they love you unconditionally. If you are ready to commit to having a dog as part of your family, go and adopt one from a shelter, stop a dog from being put down and give the life that it deserves. Just because the dog did not have the right start to life does not mean that it does not deserve to live out the rest of its life happily. Definitely do not purchase dogs from puppy farms because this is just contributing to such cruelty and there are so many dogs already being put down daily that need a home. <laughs> 